That's devastating. And Cal was the centre of our world. He was our, our only child. You never want that to happen to anyone. With Cal, it was quite extraordinary that he was so perfectly well in the morning and typically of meningococcal, he became very unwell very quickly. When Ryan, Ryan, happy-go-lucky guy, enjoyed all his sports and um, he was just struck down by this dreaded disease. You, you can't imagine that in 17 hours you can have a child who was perfectly well and healthy and vibrant in the morning to being dead. Well, I didn't think there was a disease out there that, that could take a life in such a short period of time. Meningococcal disease is the most rapidly lethal infectious disease known to man. This incredibly virulent disease can kill in just a matter of a few hours. I've seen patients who have been well at breakfast and dead by dinner. Early diagnosis and appropriate management is absolutely vital. Meningococcal disease is a type of meningitis or septicemia caused by the meningococcal bacteria, which can invade either the lining of the brain or the bloodstream or both. Even those who have been vaccinated can still catch the disease because there's as yet no protection against B strain. Those most at risk are babies and young children, teenagers and young adults up to the age of 25. If caught early, it can be treated quickly and easily with intravenous antibiotics. But the disease is notoriously difficult to recognise in the early stages and a delay in diagnosis and treatment can result in severe disabilities or even death. Yeah, words really can't describe seeing something happen so quickly in front of your eyes. She just passed away as quick as, as, quick as you can click your fingers in front of your eyes. I mean, I actually asked our doctor if it was meningococcal and he said, no, just a respiratory virus. Well, look, most doctors will only see one or two cases of meningococcal disease in their entire medical career. So the first time they see a case, they're likely to make a mistake. That's why parents need to be aware of their symptoms, listen to their gut feelings, and if they're worried, go and get a second opinion. Take your child to another hospital or to another doctor, but don't give up. And just because they say it's not meningococcal disease and you're keeping vigilant and you, you think that your child's not improving or getting worse, then keep hammering away. Meningococcal disease is characterised by a sudden onset of illness and usually rapid deterioration combined with several or more of the following symptoms. A high fever, cold shivers, cold hands and feet, tiredness or drowsiness, pain in the muscles or joints, nausea or vomiting, diarrhoea, irritability or agitation, a severe headache, a stiff or painful neck, sensitivity to light, rapid breathing, convulsions, a pinprick or purple rash. These are some of the additional symptoms you may notice in babies. The most dangerous symptom is the rash in the later stages, usually starting with pink pinpricks or a small bruise and developing into purple blotches at the final critical stage. Well, anyone with several of these symptoms should be uh, seen by a doctor and checked all over uh, for uh, signs of a rash. And whether there's a rash or not, if there is a suspicion of meningococcal disease, they should be treated straight away with intravenous penicillin. Early antibiotics can mean the difference between life and death. Rest assured, the majority of meningococcal victims survive without any disability. I feel very lucky. The doctors and nurses just kept coming in telling me how lucky I was not only to survive it, but have no brain damage, no loss of limbs, anything like that. And just, it is, it is a beatable thing um, if you catch it early. Diagnostic tests for meningococcal disease currently take 4 to 48 hours for a result. But a Melbourne research and development team is working on a test that will provide the crucial results in less than 15 minutes by using antibodies to detect meningococcal bacteria in the blood.
They're hoping this will be available to doctors by the end of 2010. That's a, another dimension to you, your grief, to know that, you know, had the right uh, intervention yeah. happen to begin with, that we could still have our son with us.